Republicans and police supporters across Illinois are demanding Governor J.B. Pritzker veto the massive criminal justice plan that Democrats passed during the lame duck session. Yeah, many arguing the plan was rushed following months of committee hearings without the bill's language being hashed out. WGEM's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich is live in Springfield tonight with the very latest. Mike. Dylan and McKenzie, House Republicans were against this plan from the Black Caucus before it even hit their desk during lame duck session. Now they hope Governor J.B. Pritzker will send it back to the drawing board. Many Republicans are concerned about the elimination of cash bail for Illinois by 2023, a move Democrats say was years in the making. We have significant concerns that criminals who commit acts of violence and other dangerous crimes, such as robbery, burglary, and arson, will be right back out on the streets within days able to victimize more people. This is not acceptable. Black Caucus members lean the charge for reform, say this argument is moot since anyone considered dangerous to the community wouldn't be allowed to walk free. What deters people from crime is not, not more harsh sentences. What deters people from crime is basically whether or not the, the punishment will be certain and the punishment will be swift when, it is, when, it, when the punishment is meted out. Law enforcement groups worry about the possible limitations on use of force and the requirement for every officer to wear a body camera by 2025. They're concerned about forcing departments to do that without additional funding from the state. Police reform is not a bad thing when it's done correctly. And uh, the, the 700 pages plus pages of this bill, unfortunately, will put citizens in Illinois at risk. Still, Senator L.G. Sims says this plan included every suggestion from the coalition of law enforcement involved in the process. Meanwhile, House Republican leader Jim Durkin stressed Governor J.B. Pritzker has to read the bill and talk with someone who understands the legal system before approving the plan. I will offer up uh, my time to go through the bill line by line with the governor to give him not only the legal uh, analysis but also the consequences of what would happen if this bill was to go into law. Senator Sim says lawmakers may not agree on the specific criminal justice reforms included in this plan, but they should all come to understand that the system needs to be changed. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Mike Multich, WGEM News.